The Weekend in Jacksonville is presented by Stone Core on Phillips Highway, your one-stop choice to beautify your home. With pavers, stonework, outdoor kitchens, fireplaces, pergolas, and more. Stone Core, we do outdoors better. Hello, Hicken here, ready to bring you all things Jacksonville sports on a hot time in the city. Man, who turned the oven on? Uh, I guess you did. Brought to you by our friends at Stone Core, home of the Bernie Grill. Let's talk, start, as always, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Couple thoughts. Number one, uh, good, good news off the field, stadium issues, right? Ready to present to city council. Great. Uh, congratulations to all involved. Let's get this thing done. Let's get this thing moving. Let's get this thing sewed up. Let's stay on schedule. But first things first, and let's everybody look through it and, 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 and sign off on it and get it done. Again, it's going to be, you know, city's going to have to pay a lot of money, not a lot of leverage. That's the way it works. And, you know, you're going to have to do your very best. But anyway, we're glad that we've worked through it. At least we got a starting point and off we go. So that's number one. Uh, um, number two, rookie mini camp coming up. So uh, get a look at some of these young guys. Boy, I hope that I hope that people are raving about uh, uh, Brian Thomas Jr. I hope they're raving about him. I hope they, you know, obviously, I think in shorts and a T-shirt, I think Mason Smith is going to be impressive because of the size, right? So, and I hope there's a couple other guys that go, oh, we really like him. We won't know anything until August, September, but it's good to see those guys kind of in the NFL, if you will. So uh, we'll start with that. Um, baseball season. Wow. Great stuff going on. Gators fighting for a bid. Okay. Fighting to be in the field of 64. A lot of work to do. Six SEC games left with Kentucky and Georgia. Got to win three of them. Got to win three of them. I think they can get in, but they got to win some games still. Kentucky's really good. Georgia's really good. Got to win some Got to win some baseball games, boys. Uh, so we'll see if they do. They will not be hosting, by the way. FSU will be hosting. FSU's had a, a great season. And so we'll see how it all shakes out as we are getting closer and closer to the field of 64. So that's always fun. But then just a shout out to uh, some high school sports and uh, Florida signee Aiden King pitching for Bishop Snyder struck out 20 Providence Stallions in a regional playoff game. Uh, the other night, Bishop Snyder advances 20 of the 21 were strikeouts. Uh, they won three to nothing to advance. Great performance. What they get in that very tough region, by the way, they get number one Pensacola Catholic, who's 27 and one. On the other side of the, the bracket, Bowles and Trinity Christian. Woo! Good baseball, man. Great time of the year. And shout out to all the baseball and softball teams who are still playing. So good stuff going as we enter into uh, May days, hot time in the city, Jacksonville, Florida, and kick back and enjoy. Get that sun, let the sun shine, and we'll talk to you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.